Hello once again Android fans, I'm Tom Ransom from CoolSmartphone.com and you're watching the Android Out Review Show. Okay, so you remember a couple of weeks ago, there's been a week's gap in which uh, I didn't manage to get the show recorded, so I apologise for that, but um, I'll get on it, don't worry. Um, you remember we were looking at Quick File Share, which is an app for uh, just sharing files between people. I've had a bit of a play with it, and it's pretty its pretty good. I mean, it's pretty simple with what it does, and uh, I think um, either I don't have the files available to me, or... Um, it need, there needs to be some improvements, which I will dabble on later. But first of all, let's just have a look at it actually working. So, you open it up on your phone, and as you'll remember, it's extremely simple. Hold on, that's the history tab. It's extremely simple. You have the select file button and then an upload button, and you can put a password on there if you so choose. So, when you click select, when you click select a file, you can complete the action using a variety of programs. Obviously you can change, choose one as the default, but I like to leave it open so that if um, I feel like uploading a different file, you'll see what I mean here, look. You can choose photos, music player, or the voice recorder. I leave it so that it asks you that every time, just in case I upload a photo one time, and then the next time I want to upload um, some music. So let's select a photo. Selecting a photo just takes you directly to your photo albums where you can se select a, uh, a photo to choose, obviously. Um, let's just scroll down. Um, I select, I selected a photo of um, a car that I took a photo of the other week and you can see it's selected there, image blah 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 blah. I won't um, put a password on it because that's just complicated. Um, I, as you can see I'm indoors obviously so I'm attached to the Wi-Fi so this goes quite quickly. Um, I'll click upload if I can hit it without looking at the screen and then you can see the progress bar there. Now this won't take very long obviously because I'm on um, Wi-Fi and to be honest out in the countryside where I am the uh, Wi-Fi is fairly slow, or the internet connection is fairly slow, so you'll probably see these sort of speeds with um, 3G or HSDPA as well. Um, it's not too bad. And then once it's finally finished uploading, which it will do in a second, it will give you a right, it will take you to the history tab. There we go, bam, and it gives you a little notification on top in your notification bar. And you've got all your files that you've uploaded in history. Now here, you can select Share, which I shall do. Selecting Share gives you this menu of where you can um, share it to. Now this is exactly why I have my Twitter open here. So if I share this particular photo to Twitter, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll, uh, you'll be able to see this going up right now. It takes you in um, it takes you into the mobile Twitter site. Um, it would be nice if it would ask you... There you go, look, it's taking me into mobile Twitter. It would be nice if it would ask uh, what program to use there. Because um, obviously I have, um, have, I have a hero, so I have HTC Peep on there. I also have Tweetcaster on there that I use occasionally. Um, that would be nice if it took you into those apps rather than the mobile app because the browser is a little slow, well, s more sluggish than a dedicated Twitter app. So um, I will just, um, it's given me a qfs.mobi link. There you can see, and I shall just put in, this is, all right, I am recording the show. I am recording the show. This is a tweet while <laughs> while you watch me. So, um, I've written that in and then you just literally tweet it and uh, you, I mean if you have these sort of, if you have a phone you'll 
know what um, tweeting from the mobile browser looks like and then um, go back to the home screen and now you can see in the notifications thing we've that was what it gave me just told me that QFS had successfully uploaded the, the file um, and then if we go into um, Twitter here um, I don't know how easy you can see this but there's a tweet if I click the link that it's given me it takes me here which is um, the QFS mobile uh, site and you can see what's going on here it just asked me if I would like to download it's basically what it what um, it's asking me I can also share it on so if I, uh, some of my friends have seen this link and think oh that's quite cool I'll share this on to more people they can tweet it as well and then clicking the download thing just t downloads a raw um, the full the full file for the image um, pretty basic it does exactly what it says on the tin and it's very handy it will also um, it declares itself as a system-wide sharing application so if I go into the um, I'll just quickly go into the gallery here I'll just select a photo that I took earlier um, you can see here in the share via there is QFS so you don't even have to be inside the application to make the sharing to make it in the first place so that is pretty handy well, that's everything to do with that that program. It's very self-explanatory, very easy to use, does exactly what you need it to do, and I think they've covered pretty much all the bases in what they've set out to do. Um, it works pretty well. Um, I would, as, as a suggestion for improvements, I would like them to um, possibly, when you want to tweet something out or something like that, it take you to um, an app. It looks for an app on the, on the phone. That would be handy. You could have um, your apps and then maybe the browser in the in the thing as well if you don't have a Twitter app on there but I mean not necessarily for Twitter but just for other, the other sharing options um, I would like to see maybe the ability to share far, um, to share just files like APKs or um, Word files or whatever you happen to have on your phone um, it didn't give me that option it gave me photos music and voice recordings. Um, I would like it to offer a few more things that it could share that way. Uh, maybe uh, instead of looking for the gallery, the um, the gallery, the voice recorder and the music player, maybe look for um, a file share, a f like a, a file manager like Astro, Astro, file, Astro file manager. <laughs> Almost forgotten. I, uh, I even reviewed that, I believe. Um, so yeah, good sides and bad sides. The good sides outweigh the bad sides. I would recommend downloading it. You can find it in the marketplace. It's free. It's called QFS. Um, there is a link to it in the um, in the description below. Um, that's all that I've got to talk about this week. Um, I've been Tom Ransom from CoolSmartphone.com. You can follow me on Twitter, TomkinsonR. And you saw my Twitter account a second ago. TomkinsonR. Um, um, there's a. I'll put that in the in the bar below as well. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, favourite, comment, subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching you guys, I love you all. I've been Tom Ransom from Cool Smartphone again once more. Um, I will see you next week for a new app.